Greetings everyone, I'm Prince B. Coming at you with some more Amiibo content. Today we have the Retro 3 Pack. Oh. Obviously it has Rob, Mr. Game & Watch, and Duck Hunt. Characters that most kids probably wouldn't know. In fact, most people probably wouldn't recognize outside of dedicated Smash fans. It kind of makes sense that they would decide to release these three together and uh, just make it a little special promotional thing as the retro trio. I know a lot of people were upset that they couldn't get them individually, at least here in the US, without importing. But for me, it actually helps immensely because I don't have to go to different stores and try and get them or worry that I can get Duck Hunt but I can't find a Mr. Game & Watch because I got their fourth in line and they only got three game watches. You know, it's just simpler for me. Uh, and I'd imagine for a lot of people. And of course, obviously, since they're bunched together, they they don't fit in exactly with what new inbox collectors would want, especially those displaying by Smash roster and so on. But for the purpose of just buying all of them to have them because you wanted them and opening them it works out. So with that said, uh, let's get started. Actually, before that, I just wanted to uh, show you can see the extra poses for Mr. Game & Watch sitting under them in the package. So that's where they are in case you were really curious and you didn't know already. I know a lot of people were really confused about where those would be. So that's that. Uh, and actually, this is bigger than the Splatoon 3-pack. So I just thought that was worth mentioning. It's a lot bigger. It's not. It's still not the exact full size of a regular individual box for each of them, but it's a lot closer to that than the Splatoon pack was. All right, so that's enough stalling. Let's get started. Uh, I always kind of open from this side, so I guess we're going to go that way again. Uh, looks really nice, by the way. Uh, at least for if you're not like a keeping them in display. I would have preferred if they were all kind of like integrated in one special box art like the Splatoon pack had, but for just keeping all three artworks and putting them together, it looks good. Uh, we're not saving this so we don't care about the packaging. I know a lot of people would care, but I don't, so uh, I've said that many times. So here they are. Oh, there goes Mr. Game Watch. He wasn't secured in there very well. Uh, well, there's our first critique of the day. Uh, there we go. Uh, well, since we're there already, why don't we start with Mr. Game & Watch, who doesn't want to stay in place. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull out the additional figures as well while we're at it, and just get the box out of here. There we go. Um, so, here we have everyone's favorite 2D character that's not named Paper Mario, uh, Mr. Game & Watch, uh, comes with the retractable, or the removable poses, uh, just pops right out very easily, uh, and it secures in pretty well, uh, yeah, it's a lot better if you put it in yourself, it, when it came out, obviously I was worried that maybe they just don't secure well, but it, it seems to work pretty nicely, uh, here we go, there's the base, uh, there we go. And, uh, this was a nice feature I noticed while I was in the box, uh, because I didn't really look too closely at how, uh, he popped in and out in promotional images and stuff, but, uh, the little tab there where it secures in is gold colored, just like the base, so it doesn't, uh, I wasn't sure if that would just be black or what have you, but so it matches perfectly with that, um, uh, and try some of the other poses. That's the standard pose. Uh, here we have the bell. If we can get it out, there he goes. And uh, let's see, turn that. Just is that the right one? And there he is with the bell pose in place. Looks good. Uh, ask not for whom the bell tolls. It tools for my wallet because I spent too much on these things. <laughs> anyway, uh, next we have the Judge Hammer 9 RNGesus figure right here. 
Uh, also, I just want to say, uh, they're a lot thicker than I was expecting. I thought it'd be a much thinner sheet of plastic, maybe half the thickness, but, uh, and I was worried they'd maybe be a bit frail or whatever, what have you, but they're very thick. They're very sturdy, it feels like, so that's very good. Uh, I'm pleased to see that. Uh, let's see, how does he fit in? It's going to take me a while to learn exactly how the poses fit in. Uh, there he goes. I was just pushing it in a little too far to the side. And uh, you can see on here it even has a little rate. Well, you probably can't see from my camera. But uh, he's got a slightly raised bump uh, where uh, the actual Smash Bros. insignia goes. So that's cool. Uh, there he is. And lastly, we have parachuting Mr. Game & Watch. Uh, if he comes out. And uh, it's also worth noting that from outside it just looked like they were just placed under the figures. They're actually in their very own special molds that keep them in place. So, uh, good, good little uh, extra precaution to prevent them from slipping around and getting dinged and what have you in the box. Uh, just very good all around. Uh, and here he is, falling from the sky. It's parachute game watch. I'm probably gonna keep him in the standard pose most of the time, just because I like them to look like the actual trophies, but. It, it's cool to have the option to switch them out every so often. Uh, and there he is, back in his regular standard pose. Uh, as for the actual figure himself, I already mentioned it's a lot thicker than I thought. Uh, but it, as far as uh, color, it's just black. Black and gray. Uh, the lines all seem pretty good. There's a little bit on this one where the gray's leaking just a smidge over to this side, but I mean, no one cares about that. No, you're not going to display them like this. I mean, well, maybe someone will, but I can't imagine that makes the best uh, conversational piece. So just like that, that's how he goes. Look at him stand. Next, we'll go to Rob. Uh, the remembered old buddy, as he was deemed in Pikmin, uh, wow, this guy is really detailed. He's got the screws and the little cord here. Uh, he's even got his little red light thing on there. I'd imagine someone's going to figure out a way to custom LED that. Uh, and obviously, this is the non-Famicom version. Uh, in Japan, they get the gray and red or white and red colors. Uh, that looks fantastic, but I don't think I'll be seeing one of those anytime soon. So, uh, fortunately for me, I actually prefer this standard color scheme that we get here in the Americas and Europe. Uh, he's even got his little off-on switch there. Uh, can't really see it too well here. And even here, we've got a little decal or paint. I can't really tell what that is. But it says Rob, and it says Robotic Operating Buddy. That's what he's actually known as. Just in case you didn't know. And uh, so, yes, very detailed. One of the more detailed ones. Very, very fond of him, especially considering I'd love to own an actual Rob, but those things are not cheap. And finally, we have Boney from Mother 3. That's a lie. It's the Duck Hunt duo. But I'm going to name him Boney because that's such a good game. Uh... As far as this one goes, uh, very fantastic. I love the sense of movement this one has with the, with the duck flying overhead and the dog mid-walk. Uh, faces look good. Uh, it's got one of these clear plastic things. Again, I'm not sure why they choose to use the, this better looking clear plastic on some of them and the weird colors like the foggy one on Zero Suit Samus or the yellow on Link. Uh, I'm sure they have their reasons, but really I just kind of wish they all stuck to at least one color, preferably this clear color, but it looks pretty good. Uh, with that said, mine, my duck hunt, he's got a few smudges up here on his head and on his face and his eye is just a little bit off. Uh, you could see that from inside the box. Wasn't pleased with that, but 
overall a really fantastic figure uh just these are all really great and they're just a really cool way to pay homage to uh guys who have been around and maybe they didn't stick around but that were at the time important figures in gaming so uh yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time with some more amiibo content as always thank you for watching this is prince b signing out